Okay, and now that we've actually built our Python Docker image, what we are gonna do is we are gonna start to use it to run some commands. So if you see right here in the readme, um, you know, we've gone over, we've gone over quite a bit. We've gone over how to find a base image. We've gone over the layout. We've gone over the Docker file and a little bit about the Conda environment definition. And then um, we've also built our image. We tagged it NumPy Python, which is important to know because we're gonna use that in a little bit. And now that we've done all that, we are gonna run, which is, which is truly the fun part because this is what we wanna do is we wanna use our Docker images to actually do cool stuff. So now that we have that, what we are gonna do is docker run dash it. I forget this one a lot. NumPy Python. And I am gonna say bash because I really, I just wanna get a bash shell. Okay, so I mean, I have that right here. Get a shell, here we go, we have a shell. So I do just wanna point out something. We are definitely in our Docker container. And you can actually see that the environmental variables that we set using, um, using the Docker file for Conda show up. So what we have here is we have um, the Conda prompt modifier, which is this, it's this thing right here that just shows you which environment you're using. And so you can see it came up, everything worked as expected. I can say which Python, I can say echo hello. You know, it installs all of these things. I can do Python dash dash version, and you can see it's Python 3.6.7, which is exactly what we expect because in our dependencies, we said we want Python 3.6. So, you know, this is this is just your um, your usual, this is, this is like, this is just a usual shell environment anywhere. It's the same thing as the shell on my computer or on a remote server or anywhere. The only difference is that we are just we built it from a Docker file and then we get it. So once we have that, I mean, we also installed IPython. We can import packages. Um, you know, we can do something with that. Okay, I created a random, a random array from the normal distribution. You know, anything that you can do from a terminal on your computer, you can do from also from your Docker shell. And this is like, this is really, really powerful. You can actually take this and you could build out your application, like your entire application, especially if it's something really complex, like some kinds of scientific software. And then you can go and like, if your colleague needs it, you can just send it off to them and they can just open it up as a shell, just like they do anything else. You don't need anything, you know, like you don't need anything complicated to run it. You don't necessarily have to have a web interface in front of it, nothing. It's just a regular shell and you can just use it you can see it's very fast, it's very responsive. Like I've used other tools like VirtualBox and things. They're not always this fast, they're not always this responsive. But this like, you know, this is perfect. It just runs and it's just like using my shell. And now that I've done that, I can actually exit from here. And here we go. Now I am back in, you know, I am back on my host machine and it's all good. So I hope that you've seen um, what a powerful tool it is that you can just literally like just drop right into a shell. And that is it for this lesson. Thanks.